What's going on y'all man, I'm back with another tutorial as y'all see So today you guys already seen the consultation with my client Let's go ahead and get them right so you already know the first steps I'm going to go ahead and comb through the hair Make sure we, you know, pull all the hair off the scalp That's why you use a comb instead of a brush So we comb all the hair off the scalp here and right here, uh, we're gonna trim it all down to the same length that I'm using. Uh, I'm putting, taking them down to one and a half. And I'm actually using my Oster Speed Lines in this video. I just got them. Y'all should've seen that last video. Uh, just unboxed them and this is my review and I've never had them before. Uh, but I'm loving this clipper though. So you go ahead and take it all down to the same length. Then here I go in, my beveless uh, skeletons, make my first bald line. And I'm making it a U shape because that's the that's the way I want his uh his fade to come out because I'm not gonna take away his C line too much. So just get it nice and clean, balding it out. And I didn't go over it with the shaver because you guys can see he has a little bit of irritation right there from uh, previously shaving, so I don't want to cause any further irritation. Going in with uh my C lines, no guard. I got the lever all the way open. I'm just getting everything down to the same desired length. Getting it all nice and even there. And this clipper does not have the notches. It's actually a, I call it a, a floating lever, as if I heard. So it doesn't click. You just gotta put it the the right length. So you gotta be a little bit more advanced, but you know we get it done. So. I can't tell you guys it clicks, but each time I'm going down like a little bit at a time to what is if I had the notches, I'm going it down about the same length. And as you guys can see, his hair grows to a diagonal down. So when you're blending like this, you have to go in the same direction against the grain. Number one guard, lever all the way open. Following that same U pattern that I first created with the, the ball guideline. You guys can see going against the grain but in the direction that it's growing so it goes down the angle i'm going up at an angle so it's against the grain if you don't you can pretty much patch them or it will never cut hair just going and cleaning it up you guys can't see but every time I, I take the clipper away i'm actually putting the lever more closed as if it were notches if that makes sense so i'm pretty much putting the teeth closer together so it cuts more hair off I hope you guys enjoy these videos, man. I'm trying to give you guys a lot more uh, tutorials as best as I can for what I can work with, you know. Beginner barber, you know, I hear the point, but you know I'm doing it with a dude. Going with the grain now, just helping it blend a little bit more in. Blend it nicely. I don't want to take his, his, uh, we're doing a low fade, so or a low taper, I'm sorry. So I don't want to raise up too much. I got my zero guard on there right now, all the way open. Let's go ahead and knock in a little bit more of that bulk off. Usually you will go uh, with fades or tapers. You will go, your guidelines will be like an inch each. But since this is a low taper, I'm actually doing even smaller. So I'm probably going like maybe half of an inch or if not less than that, I'm doing a real compressed taper fade. Go in the same directions like i said every time i take the the clipper away so you can see i'm um i just made it a little bit more closed going against the grain in that direction like i told you guys that's the only way to fade it like that or you're gonna possibly cut too much hair off 
If you guys know me, I'm not really into corded clippers, but I really want to try this clipper because it's an OG, man. It's one of the goats and, and OG clipping or barbering. So, had to try it out, man. I had to try it out. So far, I'm loving this clipper. It's a little tip I got when uh, I'm not going to show you guys both sides of me doing the taper. I'm just going to show you one side in the back. Uh, I use hairspray. It helps lay the hair down so you'll you'll put it over the edges and you'll brush it uh you'll brush the product into the hair and it'll help keep the hair laid down so it doesn't curl back up because with coarse hair especially it'll curl back up and you'll be biting it and all kinds of stuff so i just want to make sure i get this hairline as crisp as possible and the best way to do that at least for me in my experience is to use hairspray and it holds it down and you guys can see got that hairline coming out crispy see how I didn't want to go too much up on this uh his C cup right there so you can actually still see his line you can still be you can still have some contrast right there so that's why you guys can see now that I made that look that you to, to start his taper off in the beginning of the haircut here we go to the back that's it clean him up when you're doing these edge ups you guys you want to make sure that you do not push them back too much you can tell i'm just i'm just taking up that the hairs that are laying over i'm not pushing his hairline back at all just taking it off a little bit keep it natural nice and clean this haircut obviously is sped up but when you're doing this you want to take your time you don't need to rush these the lineup can make a big part of the haircut you can have an okay a ho a okay fade and a, a crispy lineup but you can't have it the other way around if you have a crispy fade and your lineup is trash you just killed the whole haircut so make sure i get my boy right take our time with it here we go on to the back the back is just like the side taper you want to start with your ball guideline right here and for this particular haircut i'm actually making the the back i'm, I'm blocking it off i know a lot of people are more into the rounded uh the, the round backs if that makes sense but i just wanted to square it out because i'm gonna bald it out anyway so i just squared it looks like i got my oster fast feeds no guard lever all the way open make my uh my first guideline and like like i said you guys can't see but i brought i brought the the lever closed a little bit and again a little more close it's probably like one quarter inch open by now or a quarter of the way open and i probably better close it up all the way this next clip let's see yep there you go you can see it close it all the way and take out that line tell you guys this face is gonna be so blurry do the detail work Here we go got my number one guard on there same steps guys same steps left for all the way open making our our second guy line and then we're gonna the further we go down in the fade towards the back of his, uh, the back of his neck the more we're gonna close that lever up so we can make sure that we have a clean transition you want to always make sure that you're brushing the hair back down you don't want to just fade and then move the lever without brushing the hair back in place brush or combing the hair back in place i should say because the comb lifts the hair up the, the brush lays the hair down but when i'm doing this i have no issues with uh using a, a brush or a comb it's more of just preference and comfort for me also guys uh you may be wondering why i'm using the clip on andy's guards and that's because i just i feel like the the clip on andy's guards are I'm going to probably catch some heat for this. I feel like they're better than the, the purple magnetic guards, guys. And that's because I feel like the teeth on the magnetic ones are just so long. It's just, I don't know. It's like I'm fighting I'm fighting the guards to, to do a fade. I just don't like, I don't like to use those guards from every haircut. There's only a particular haircut that I, I use those guards with. But I love the, the clip-on Andy's ones. They work perfect for what I'm blending. So you see how his hair kind of grows at an angle. I'm gonna have to start attacking it. See how I attack it sideways now, going against the get against the grain, but in the direction that it grows. 
that's how you gotta do it you guys can see that I was kind of fighting it and it wasn't blending out and then as soon as I turned the clipper to the side and went uh, in the angle that it grows against the grain then it started the the hair started coming off I started cutting the hair so like I said you guys that's why you want to make sure when you got to make sure you pay attention to which direction the hair grows That's my number two guard. Making my third guy line. Just want to blend it more up into the haircut itself. A cleaner transition. Get that. You guys can see that that bulk right there in that line. Trying to get that line out. And this was just. I just wanted to give you guys a different angle. You guys can see how I actually do my haircut tutorials right there. You know. I don't have nobody holding the camera. I got the ring light right there. Putting that work in, man. Putting that work in. Them angles, though. Them angles. Hope you guys appreciate this shot right here. <laughs> but look at there again. See me going against the grain, but in the direction that it grows. Using those corners of the blade. Don't use a full blade. Here we go again. Laying down some some uh, hairspray. Brushing into the hair, to the hairline, to lay the hair down. Make sure it stays in place. It's gonna give me a. Uh, gonna work a lot better for me while I'm actually cutting the hair I'm lining it up as you guys can see right here when I do the edge ups I like to start from the middle sometimes I start from the corners but I want to start from the middle and just go from one side to the other side and if anything do some detail work if I need to compensate if one side is higher than the other and I'm sorry for this next part but you guys can see the caption my bad ran out of memory y'all i ran out of memory at these other the other uh, phone here i'm going in with some razor work and the razor is not really necessary but it it makes the it makes the lineup pop so much more when you use a razor you guys so i advise all my clients hey if you want your lineup to be as crispy as possible get the razor work right afterwards right after i right after i taper you or right after i line you up Get that razor work in it's gonna be crispy i got it with the uh, i put the magic pencil on there giving that ash the uh the white ash effect i could have went with the enhancements but you know we just we just went with the the white ash for now and kept everything else natural i know i did the enhancements the last video but this video you know just make it natural i guess nothing wrong with that and lastly finish it off with some detail work get those last little like i tell you guys get those last little hairs that are sticking up Gotta chop them off. Gotta complete the haircut. That detail works. Well, speed lines putting that work though. Loving these clippers though. I'm loving these clippers. Here we go. I can't do a 360 because I don't have a chair, so I just tell my client to look from side to side. You can see that haircut. No product in the hair. There it is finished look right there y'all let me know you guys think in the comments i'm gonna let my client uh i'm gonna show him what the hair color like here's his reaction <laughs> yes sir yeah no that's a fresh cut thank y'all thank y'all for watching make sure y'all like share subscribe Follow my Instagram and I'll see y'all in the next video.